Hey, this is Aaron Rabinowitz for CreativeCow.net. You know, working with After Effects can be a drag. And I don't mean that it's bad, I just mean that there's a lot you can do with dragging and dropping. For starters, let's talk about dragging things into After Effects. As you probably know, you can drag footage directly into After Effects instead of going through the file menu as you normally would. Just drag it from your folder into the project panel and there you go. But you can also take entire folders and drag them into After Effects as well. If you drag in a folder containing images while holding down the Alt or Option key, After Effects will bring in the folder as a folder containing all of your images. If you drag the folder into After Effects without holding the Alt or Option key, After Effects will bring it in as a sequence. This is especially useful if you're using an image sequence such as a series of TIFF or Targas rendered out from another program. However, if you're not importing an image sequence, but rather just a folder full of different unconnected images and you don't hold down the Alt key while importing the folder, the results can be unpredictable. After Effects may think you want to import an image sequence, but then not be sure what dimensions you want or what kind of alpha channel to use. So things can get kind of wonky. So you know, be careful of that. Now I want to warn you that even if you do this correctly, sometimes you may need to go into the interpret footage dialog to fix any oddness with the alpha channels or frame rate. So if you're importing a 15 frame per second image sequence, by default, After Effects assumes a 30 frame per second sequence and you need to change that manually. Now another area where dragging is very helpful is rendering. As you probably know, you can drag footage over the Create New Composition icon, which creates a new composition the same size, length, and frame rate as the footage. But what you may not know is that you can bypass the Create New Composition icon and drag the footage directly into the render queue, which not only automatically generates a new composition with the correct specs, but also creates a new render in the render queue. This can save a ton of time in situations where you need to convert video from one format to another. And to make it even easier, if you were to drop several pieces of footage into the render queue, you can then select all of the output modules using you know, the standard selection techniques, and then choose one of the output module presets, which as you can see, affects all output modules. Now another way in which dragging can be helpful is that in addition to dragging files into After Effects, you can drag them out of After Effects. Select any footage and folders you want to copy and just drag them to your desktop or another folder. This is especially useful if you want to hand off a few files from your project without having to collect all of your footage. You can use this method to put assets directly on the network for other people to grab or whatever. Pretty cool, right? Special thanks to Creative Cal member Sean Cuson of Q Media Inc. who showed me this feature. It actually led to the idea for this tutorial, so please direct all the love for this one to www.qmediainc.ca. Share the love, baby. All right, speaking of dragging, I gotta drag my butt back to work. So, once again, this is Aaron Rabinowitz for creativecow.net.